What's up, loves? It's Princey215. God and Gaia is amazing, and I truly hope that you are living your best fucking life. This is my fourth attempt making this video, so let me get right into it. TikTok want to stop my truth, but you can't stop my truth. Now, listen, y'all. Y'all boat is here, empaths. This video is specifically for my empaths. Your boat is here. Your boat is sitting right outside your house. Everything that I say is all analogies. Do not be like Noah and take two of every type of spirit with you on your boat who has already shown you that they are envious of you, jealous of you, non-supportive. They also have conditional love for you. It's all conditions. They don't love you for you. They don't love you for who you are. They don't respect your freedom. They want to control you. They want to use consequences and rewards against you. Why would you take those type of people with you? Our brains are set up. Psychologically speaking, we do think about the bad more than the good just because of our our trauma responses and just because we have to keep ourselves safe. But you have to be able to control your brain patterns and think about the people who actually do love you. For every negative, there is a positive. For every person who wished who wished upon your downfall, there is three people who are wishing for you to fly and succeed and fly high like the, like the stars in the sky, baby, because the sky is the limit, I promise you. So your boat is here. Your boat is here. Those seeds you have planted, spring is near. They are sprouting. Do not take no Nobody with you on your boat who talk negative over your seeds, who who didn't even want to water your seeds, who didn't want to give your seeds life. Do not bring these people with you. They wasn't, they couldn't stay down to the come up. They wasn't loyal to the soil. They couldn't wait for your seeds to sprout with you. They could they didn't have patience. They didn't have guidance. They didn't have any type of loving bone in their body towards you. Ain't nobody perfect. You feel me? Empaths, I know that you ain't perfect. Trust me. I know. I know you pop off when somebody really fucking with you. But guess what? We can admit when we do when we fall short. And these people don't. These people will literally treat us as if we are beneath them. So why would you take them with you? Even their kids, y'all. Stop being, don't be gullible. Don't sit here and think, oh, I ain't talking to my sister no more, but I'm still cool with her kid. Let me take her kid with me. No. Why would you do that? That kid is a, a reflection of your sister. Okay, let's be real. If your sister is a narcissist, that kid is acting in narcissistic ways unless that kid is really pure love, peace, and light. But if that child is going to remind you of what your sister put you through or your brother, whoever, I'm using analogies, do not bring them with you on your boat. I don't care if they are a child. When they are of age and when they realize the type of personality traits they want to have and they reach out to you with love, then you can let them into your circle. Until then, anybody under the age of 18 and they act like they parents, you better let them go. I'm going to get with you. My blessing is here, love.